Hey guys, my name is Shiv, and I welcome you all on Code Learnix. So here I am back with another amazing video where I will discuss about .pyc files in Python. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Now coming to the .pyc file. It is the compiled bytecode of our source file. Wait, did I say compiled? Yes. you heard it right i said the compiled bytecode but everybody knows that python is a interpreted language yes that is also right so when it comes to the python execution how python executes its program this is a bit different when we write our source code that is generally called as the we write our source code in high level language that cannot be understood by the python virtual machine so that python interpreter cannot understand that source code so there must be a mechanism where that source code must be converted into a different format that can be understand by python interpreter so we compile that source code into byte code and that byte code is easily understood by the python interpreter and that python interpreter interprets that byte code line by line and we get our output so that byte code is stored in dot pyc files like when you who have executed dot c++ file there you must have seen that the the dot exe file is created in the folder where you, you have placed your source code so in case of java when you execute your source program there there a dot class file is created where you have placed your source code but in case of python it is bit different sometimes sometimes it creates dot pyc file sometimes it doesn't so why is that happening in python so i will answer all these questions further in this video here i have opened my computer screen and here i will create a folder named python so that i can easily make you understand that how pyc file is created in python when we execute any python program so here i have created a folder named python in front of you so uh, so this video is related to dot pyc file so i will not use any id python id i will create it on notepad so i have to just open notepad so here it is so here i will write a function a simple function the addition function so here i will use def keyword and i will click add and here i will uh, accept two arguments a and b and it will do just return the just return the a plus b so i guess our function is ready so uh, i i have to print the output of this function so i have to make a call to this function so i will print and i will call this function add and i will pass 3 comma 7 so the output will be like 10 so first i have to save this file so i will press control s and i will choose desktop and here i will choose python and uh, you guys make sure that you choose that all files we don't have to save in .txt file node files is uh, saved in automatic at home automatically in .txt format so you guys uh, first make sure that you select all files and here i will give name as add .py don't forget this so you have to must give the py extension so so our file is created i will minimize it and i will open the command prompt to run this file okay so i have opened this command prompt first you make sure that python is installed on your, your local machine so i will check that is python is installed on my machine or not so i will uh, uh, write python so yes i guess uh, my machine is bit slow yes python is installed if that will be not installed in the in your local machine it will give a error so i will just uh, quit that i will quit that python cell and here i am on the cmd and i will uh, go to the directory where my file is created 
so i will uh, cd to desktop i have created that folder on desktop and slash there is a python folder python right i have moved in the right directory and to run that python file i have to just type python and the name of that file add.py okay so here is the output 10 it give, it give the correct output 10 and here I have uh, also the app as 3 and 10 it will return so let me first check that is there any pyc file is created or not or the compilation has been done or not so here I am opening the folder no there is only the source file here python source file here you can see that the type is python source file and not no any pyc file is created so in here I, we have seen that no pyc file is created so I will I, I will what I will do is I will create another uh, Python node uh, Python file. So I will go to py file. I will create new, and here I will uh, what I will do is I will import that previous module that I have created that I have created, and I have named it as add. So from add from add I will import that add function. Import add function. You know that I have given the function name add. So uh, I have from that add module I have imported add. So what I will do is here I will call that add function print add and here I will pass a different or uh, different argument. Uh, I will here I will pass 12 comma 13, right? And I will save this file also. And here I will also choose all files and I here I will give main.py main.py so I will save this so what I have done here is I have imported that module in this main file and from here I have called that file so let me do one thing uh, called add function here also so okay no problem uh, with that I have to I have to show you open with notepad here I have called that function so here I will uh, delete this so there is no issue okay so that output will be uh, print two times 10 will be output from this function so let me go to the CMD and here I will also run here I will run that python python main.py here I am calling the main.py okay so as expected that is this 10 is coming from the output of this call this call from that add module and this 25 is coming from that main file we have called from here so now let's see is there any dot pyc file is created or not so yes uh so i will open this for you you guys for you you guys i will maximize it okay so here is we have when i run the ad there was not folder created but here i see that a dot pycast folder is created let's open this first yes what i see is here add dot c python hyphen 39 dot pyc file here you see the pyc file is created this is the byte code so add is nothing but the name of the module dot c python is nothing but the interpreter that come or we can say the compiler that is compiling that source code into the byte code and 39 is nothing but the version of that uh, python we i have i am using on currently and here is the file extension dot pyc so uh, in this case so when we import any module in python then python creates dot pyc file so let me do one thing so let me do one thing i am i am just creating i am i am just uh, i am just deleting this add file add module i am doing shift delete permanently deleting this add file and now I am calling that main file python main.py wait it's 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 giving the error that no module name add font so in that case uh, that is not working so let me do one thing for you guys uh, what I will do I will, I will I will just cut this file and I will paste in the root directory here I have paste that and now let me call this python 
main dot py so yes currently now also this is giving the module not found error no module named add but when i rename when i rename this as what i have imported here i have imported the add module from add import add so i have imported the add module so what i will do is i will rename this file i will rename because automatically python creates pyc file with the compiler name and the version of the python so that is the different format so when i rename this file as add.pyc and i save this i save this and when i run this now will it give me the correct output python main.py yes now this is giving me the correct output this 10 is coming from the main file and this 25 this 25 is coming from the mail file and this 10 is coming from the module file but we have deleted the add mod and this is the .pyc file so what python does is it firstly look when we import any module in our source code so firstly it looks for the .pyc file is there any bytecode present from the very first time or not if that is present it will not go through that main module or the source code it will only that bytecode is interpreted to the python virtual machine and then our programs executed but when the first time i have executed the main file in that case that was not the case but we can manually also create the main for this main file any main.pyc is not created but we can forcefully also create that so i will show how i can create the pyc file or the bytecode for the our main file so what you have to do is you have to write python python hyphen m come hyphen b and then you have to give the name of thus python file python module main dot py so i have named and here it is showing that compiling main dot py so that is compiled i think so let me see in the folder now yes here, here you can see that we have that main dot pyc so now we have also compiled that main module and we have the our bytecode main dot pyc so does python also able to run that main dot pyc can we run that yes we can so i where i will do i will run python main dot pyc so it is also giving the correct one so this is how the pyc files looks like in python and how it is created so python does not create the pyc the pyc file the every main file but it creates pyc file for every module you import in your main file so that pyc file is placed in pycache folder by default but you can place it in the root directory also so that's it from the video guys i hope i was able to make you understand about the topic but if you have any queries or any suggestions please do let me know in the comment section if not please like the video and share with your friends i will meet you in the next video till then take care thank you